it's very clear that characters don't need to be on screen often to be beloved by fans. We've seen it before with Misty, Melody, and Kilgore, but we've never covered a character who has only appeared once. Vega changes this. Despite only appearing once, she's prominent in a lot of fan art. Why is this? That's what we're going to cover today. Vega is the teenage daughter of Queen Vexus, the main antagonist of My Life as a Teenage Robot. Despite how evil her mother is, Vega is very kind. Her character design illustrates this perfectly. Stripes are predominant in both Vexus and Vega but Vega has a much warmer color palette indicating that she's friendly. In Escape from Cluster Prime, Vega was one of the only robots who never left Jenny's side. Even when Vega learned that Jenny was the evil XJ9 she was taught to hate for years, she still supported her. With characters like Melody and Misty, it's questionable whether or not they're friends or foes to Jenny. There's no question when it comes to Vega. Since Vexus was hiding the chips which allowed the robots on Cluster Prime to use their abilities, Vega was unaware of her own powers. With the chip, she can fly and use a plasma sword. It's very possible that she has more abilities which we didn't get to see, but that's all we know as of right now. Vega has a group of robot friends, none of which are particularly noteworthy. I don't think anyone will be asking me to make a drab characterization anytime soon. Yeah, I bet you forgot that alternative Brad even had a name. Anyways, the thing that obviously makes Vega noteworthy is her status as the Princess of the Cluster. By the end of the special, she overthrows Vexus and becomes the new leader of the Cluster, establishing herself as Queen. While researching for this video, I came across something that I wasn't expecting. The person who voiced Vega was none other than Thora Birch. You might know her for her work on The Walking Dead, but I know her as the daughter in American Beauty. I love that movie, so I nerded out a bit upon learning that. I was talking to a member of the original Teenage Robot crew and he recollected that there were plans to bring Vega back again. We don't know if these plans were cancelled or if it was supposed to happen in Season 4. Regardless, I find it incredibly interesting that there may have been more from Vega. There's a lot to theorize along with potential future appearances from Vega, and I could do it all day. Instead, I'll let you guys do that in the comments. If you'd like to talk to other fans about Vega or anything else Teenage Robot, why not join the My Life as a Teenage Robot fanbase Discord server? It's currently the biggest community that still celebrates the show. The link is in the description below. I've been your narrator, Draven Landau. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.